students we are discussing plant breeding for disease resistance right plant breeding for disease resistance right now listen here what are the different methods what are the different methods of crop improvement to produce a disease resistant plant to make a plant disease resistant to make a plant disease resistant what are the different methods of uh, crop improvement or plant breeding that are involved okay right therefore types of uh, plant uh, breeding types of plant breeding to produce a uh, types of plant breeding to produce a uh, what sir disease resistant plants to produce disease resistant plants what are different types of plant breeding methods that are used is it okay right number 1 first one hybridization second one selection therefore what sir selection hybridization hybridization right next uh, number 3 mutation breeding what it is mutation breeding next number 4 genetic engineering genetic engineering what is another name of genetic engineering rdna technology what is another name of genetic engineering sir rdna technology recombinant dna technology recombinant dna technology rdna technology this is nothing but genetic engineering okay and next one is a selection selection between a soma clonal variants selection between what sir soma clonal variants selection between a uh, soma clonal variants is it okay right therefore sir selection hybridization mutation breeding genetic engineering and selection between a uh, soma clonal variants uh, is it okay all these are different type of plant breeding methods that are used to produce a disease resistant plant okay right now in this methods right selection and hybridization these two comes under conventional breeding they comes under what sir conventional breeding they comes under conventional breeding methods right whereas this mutation breeding genetic engineering selection between soma clonal variants right these comes under advanced methods these are advanced methods these are advanced methods is this statements okay clear right now therefore selection and hybridization they comes under conventional breeding methods conventional breeding methods whereas mutation breeding genetic engineering and selection between soma clonal variants right they comes under advanced methods they comes under advanced methods is it okay right now listen sir what are the steps involved what are the steps involved in producing a disease resistant plant by using conventional breeding therefore by conventional breeding to produce a disease resistant plant what are the steps that are involved therefore steps involved in conventional breeding to produce a disease resistant plant what steps involved steps uh, involved uh, right uh, in conventional breeding steps involved in conventional breeding to produce 
to produce a what to produce a disease uh, resistant plant to produce a disease resistant plant sir listen this statement carefully we already discussed uh, different steps uh, we already discussed different steps that are involved in plant breeding i already told you throughout the world plant breeding is carried out in a systematic manner plant breeding is carried out in a systematic manner what are the main steps involved in classical or conventional plant breeding sir number one first one what it is a uh, first step is collection of genetic variability what it is collection of genetic variability what is the second one evaluation and selection of parents evaluation and selection of parents number three cross hybridization what it is cross hybridization number four selection and evaluation of recombinants selection and evaluation of recombinants number five test release and commercialization of new cultivar we already discussed these five steps in detail yes or no right therefore the same five steps are involved here also the same five steps are involved here also is this statement okay right therefore steps involved in conventional breeding to produce a right a disease resistant plant are similar are similar right uh, to steps uh, that are involved uh, to produce uh, to produce a uh, what to produce uh, a plant to produce a plant uh, with any desirable character any desirable character any desirable character right by what conventional by conventional plant breeding by conventional plant breeding is this statement okay right sir by conventional plant breeding you are interested you are you want to produce a, a plant with what desirable characters by conventional plant breeding you are intended to produce a, a plant with desirable characters then what steps you will follow sir selection of what steps you will follow collection of genetic variability evaluation and selection of parents cross hybridization selection and evaluation of recombinants test release and commercialization of new cultivar these are the steps followed right in conventional plant breeding to produce a plant with desirable characters the same steps the same steps are involved in conventional plant breeding to produce a plant with what sir desirable character what is the desirable character here to produce a plant with a disease resistance to produce a plant with a disease resistance therefore what are the steps that are involved right in this case the same steps are involved here also to produce a plant uh, which is disease uh, resistant uh, which is disease resistant is this statement okay right now listen this statement sir we are discussing plant breeding for what sir disease resistance plant breeding for disease resistance it means uh, here we should make the plant uh, disease resistance yes or no it means what is a desirable character here the desirable character is a disease resistance it means now we have to screen we have to screen the plants uh, having disease resistance yes or no sir what is the first step in conventional plant breeding collection of genetic variability what is the second step evaluation and uh, selection of parent plants yes or no what is the second step evaluation and selection of parent plants ah, now you tell me you want to produce a disease resistant plant 
right then you will check the plants uh, for which gene disease resistant gene therefore we are evaluating plants for disease resistant gene and we are selecting plants with disease resistant genes uh, as parent plants plants with disease resistant genes uh, as what sir parent plants is this statement okay right therefore to produce a to produce a what sir to produce a disease resistant uh, plant right uh, screening screening of a germplasm is done screening for screening of germplasm is done for which genes for disease resistant genes when during selection and uh, evaluation okay during evaluation and selection during evaluation and uh, what selection of parent plants is this statement okay right sir what is the second step of conventional plant breeding evaluation and selection of parent plants here we want to produce a disease resistant plant it means the parent plant should contain the parent plants should contain what are disease resistant genes it means we have to evaluate the plants now for which genes disease resistant genes so we are screening the protoplasm we are screening the germplasm we are screening the germplasm for which genes sir for disease resistant genes once a plant with disease resistant genes are identified such plants are selected as what sir parent plants it means your parent plants are with disease resistant genes is this statement okay clear right now listen this statement <coughs> at uh, i a r i what is the full form of IARI Indian Agricultural Research Institute? Sir, these are some varieties produced at IARI by hybridization and selection. Sir, these varieties are resistant to bacterial, viral and fungal pathogens. Resistant to bacterial, viral and fungal pathogens. Is this statement clear? Right. Therefore, now listen these statements. Right. Some crop varieties. Some crop varieties which are resistant to bacterial, fungal and uh, viral pathogens. Some crop varieties which are resistant to bacterial, fungal and viral pathogens produced at IARI by hybridization and uh, selection are is this statement okay right sir these are some crop varieties these are some crop varieties these crop varieties are resistant to bacterial viral and fungal pathogens sir these crop varieties which are resistant to bacterial viral and fungal pathogens they are produced by hybridization and selection where at indian agricultural research institute 
सर दिस इंडियन अग्रिकल्चरल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इज लोकेटेड इन न्यू डेल्ही एट विच रोड पूसा पी यू एस ए पूसा रोड राइट देर फॉर इंडियन अग्रिकल्चरल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इज लोकेटेड इन पूसा रोड ओके इन न्यू डेल्ही इज दिस स्टेटमेंट क्लियर राइट नो वट आर दिस वेरइटी सर सी हियर हिमगिरी सर दिस हिमगिरी is a variety of a uh, what sir wheat himgiri is a variety of what sir wheat what is the botanical name of a uh, wheat sir triticum 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 vulgari or triticum vulgari triticum vulgari or triticum vulgari this is a botanical name of wheat is it okay therefore himgiri right uh, it is a variety of what sir wheat it's a variety of wheat sir wheat means it's a dicot or monocot sir it is a monocot wheat is a monocot sir this himgiri variety of uh, wheat it is resistant to which disease sir it is resistant to leaf and uh, stripe rust which disease leaf and stripe rust and even resistant to hill burnt hill burnt sir this leaf and stripe rust hill burnt this diseases are caused by fungi this diseases are caused by what sir fungi therefore these are which diseases sir fungal diseases these are which diseases fungal diseases is it okay right now go for second one what it is sir pusa swarnim what it is pusa swarnim sir this pusa swarnim is a variety of brassica pusa swarnim is a variety of what sir brassica brassica means comes under which family brassicaceae family so it's a dicot or monocot sir it's a dicot sir this pusa swarnim which is a variety of brassica right it is resistant to which disease sir white rust disease which disease sir white rust disease sir who is causing this white rust disease sir albugo fungi this white rust is caused by albugo fungi we read this in first year right now go for next one pusa shubra what it is pusa shubra second one is a pusa snow ball k1 be careful pusa snow ball k1 sir pusa shubra pusa snow ball k1 these are two varieties of cauliflower these are two varieties of what sir these are two varieties of what sir cauliflower sir what is the scientific name of cauliflower brassica oleracea variety botrytis brassica oleracea variety botrytis brassica oleracea variety botrytis comes under which family brassicaceae family sir dicot or monocot dicot dicot is it okay sir this pusa shubra snow okay pusa snow ball k1 these two are varieties of cauliflower which are resistant to black rot and uh, curl blight black rot these two diseases are caused by these two diseases are caused by bacteria therefore these two are which diseases bacterial diseases these two are which diseases sir bacterial diseases okay go for the next one pusa komal what it is pusa komal it is a variety of what sir kaupi pusa komal is a variety of what sir kaupi variety of uh, what sir kaupi kaupi belongs to which family fabaceae family kaupi belongs to which family fabaceae family therefore it is also what sir dicot it's also dicot is it okay right sir this pusa komal 
a variety of cowpea it is resistant to which disease sir bacterial blight sir bacterial blight uh, name itself indicates caused by whom sir bacteria therefore it is a bacterial disease which disease sir bacterial disease now go for the last one what is pusa sada bahar what is pusa sada bahar pusa sada bahar is a variety of chili what is the scientific name of chili capsicum fruticens capsicum fruticens which family solanaceae family dicot or monocot dicot sir pusa sada bahar is a variety of what sir chili this pusa sada bahar it is resistant to which diseases chili mosaic tobacco mosaic and leaf curl this diseases are caused by virus this diseases are caused by what sir virus diseases caused by virus sir fungi eukaryotic bacteria prokaryotic virus neither prokaryotic nor eukaryotic yes or no therefore fungal pathogen fungi eukaryotic bacterial pathogen bacteria prokaryotic viral pathogen virus what sir neither prokaryotic nor eukaryotic this right uh, box is very very important you should be very careful with this varieties this varieties belongs to which crop plant you should remember that is this statements clear okay right therefore himgiri variety of wheat crop right pusa swarnim is a variety of brassica crop pusa right shubra pusa snowball kevan varieties of cauliflower crop pusa komal variety of cowpea crop right pusa sadabahar right variety of chilli crop now listen this statement sir pusa swarnim is also called as a karan roy also called as what karan roy actually this karan roy is a scientist name is a scientist name is this statements okay right now sir what are all these these are varieties of uh, some crop plants uh, which are produced by hybridization and selection at i a r i which are resistant to what sir resistant to bacterial viral and fungal pathogens is this statements clear is it okay right we are discussing plant breeding right now go for the next topic plant breeding for pest resistance plant breeding for pest resistance sir why we have to make a plant uh, pest resistance sir why we have to make a plant pest resistance listen another major cause another major cause for destruction for what destruction of crop plants and uh, crop products crop plants and crop products is a pest infestation and uh, insects see these statements sir pathogens they are destructing the crops they are damaging the crops in the similar manner okay in the same way right uh, even their pest uh, infestations and insects what sir pest infestations and uh, insects right they also cause major destruction they also causes major destruction in what sir crop plants and crop uh, products therefore another major cause for destruction of crop plants and crop products uh, is pest infestation and what sir insects sir pest infestation means here pest uh, is invading a host plant it means the pest uh, is living in or on the host plant what is the meaning of pest infestation sir pest infestation means uh, the pest uh, is uh, started to live inside uh, 
started to leave inside or on the host plant is this statement okay right therefore another major cause for destruction of crop plants and pla crop plants and crop products is pest infestation and what sir insects is it okay right sir crop plants they may be resistant crop plants they may be resistant to insect pest crop plants may be what may be resistant to insect pest may be resistant to what sir insect pest due to due to morphological characters due to morphological characters biochemical characters biochemical characters or physiological characters physiological characters see this statement sir there are some crop plants uh, which are resistant to insect pest what characters are making uh, right these crop plants are uh, resistant for insect pest sir number one morphological characters number two biochemical characters or number three what are physiological characters which characters physiological characters is this statements okay right now concerned to this part uh, now we are going to discuss some important uh, examples right what are the examples plant character character nature of character nature of character resistant to resistant to insect pest resistant to what sir insect pest resistant to insect pest resistant to what insect pest now listen here <coughs> go for the first character go for the first character what sir hairy leaves what sir hairy leaves hairy leaves uh, right uh, this character is uh, seen in several plants this hairy leaves character is seen in several plants which character hairy leaves seen in several plants such as what sir number 1 cotton right number 2 wheat what is the character hairy leaves sir hairy leaves uh, is a uh, which character sir it is a morphological character is which character morphological character it's a morphological character sir due to the presence of hairy leaves due to the presence of what due to the presence of hairy leaves in which plant cotton due to the presence of hairy leaves okay in what sir cotton cotton becomes resistant cotton becomes resistant for which pest sir jacinth it becomes resistant for which pest sir jacinth is it okay who is making cotton resistant for jacinth sir 
right uh, presence of hairy leaves therefore presence of hairy leaves cotton plant became resistant for which insect pest jasid right number 2 wheat sir in wheat plant also you can see which leaves sir hairy leaves in wheat plant also you can see which leaves sir hairy leaves hairy leaves which character morphological character due to the presence of hairy leaves due to the presence of hairy leaves in which plant wheat plant the wheat becomes resistant for which pest sir becomes resistant for cereal leaf beetle is this statement okay right therefore wheat plant became resistant for cereal leaf beetle due to the presence of hairy leaves is it okay therefore hairy leaves is a morphological character hairy leaves present in several plants such as cotton and wheat due to the presence of hairy leaves cotton became resistant for jasid pest due to the presence of hairy leaves wheat became resistant for cereal leaf beetle cereal leaf beetle is it okay right now go for next character sir what is the next character sir solid stem what sir solid stem sir solid stem is also which character morphological character solid stem is which character morphological character where we can see the solid stem sir it is present in the case of wheat plant present in the case of which plant wheat plant which character sir solid stem morphological character present in wheat plant is it okay due to the presence of a solid stem in wheat plant the wheat becomes resistant for stem saw fly who became resistant wheat plant became resistant for what stem saw fly pest due to the presence of what solid stem see this statement sir wheat became resistant for cereal leaf beetle due to the presence of hairy leaves wheat became resistant for what sir stem saw fly due to the presence of a solid stem is it okay right go for the next character what is the next character sir smooth smooth leaf and uh, nectarless what and what smooth leaf and uh, nectarless sir smooth leaf is morphological character smooth leaf is morphological character whereas nectarless is biochemical character nectarless is which character sir biochemical character sir where we can see this smooth leaf and nectarless character sir in the case of cotton in the case of what sir cotton in the case of cotton in the case of cotton is it okay right therefore sir smooth leaf and nectarless in the case of cotton right uh, makes cotton resistant for which pest sir bollworms makes a uh, resistant uh, for which pest sir bollworms makes resistant for bollworms is it okay right now go for last character what it is uh, high aspartic acid high aspartic acid plus low sugar and low nitrogen tell me sir high aspartic acid aspartic acid low sugar and low nitrogen comes under which characters biochemical characters comes under which characters sir biochemical characters this high aspartic acid low sugar and low nitrogen seen in the case of what sir maize seen in the case of what sir maize seen in the case of maize sir due to the presence of high aspartic acid low sugar and low nitrogen this maize became resistant maize became resistant for stem borer borer which drills 
who is drilling the pest is drilling what is drilling it is drilling the stem so we are calling it as a stem borer which is stem borers are maize stem borer therefore due to the presence of high aspartic acid right uh, low sugar and low nitrogen which are biochemical characters in maize plant the maize became resistant for maize stem borer became resistant for maize stem borer is this statement clear therefore what are the characters we studied here number one hairy leaves number two solid stem number three smooth leaf and nectarless number four high aspartic acid low sugar and low nitrogen number one hairy leaves seen in several plants hairy leaves in cotton makes cotton resistant for jacid pest hairy leaves in wheat makes wheat resistant for cereal leaf beetle pest solid stem in case of wheat sir solid stem makes wheat resistant for stem saw fly pest smooth leaf nectarless seen in the case of cotton makes cotton resistant for bollworms high aspartic acid low sugar and low nitrogen makes maize resistant for maize stem borer makes uh, right uh, maize resistant for maize stem borer is this statements okay clear right